Well, well, well. What about you? Cass Piper Cassidy here. <sighs> On a special St. Patrick's Day uh, video. So, happy St. Patrick's Day. All you folks, I hope you had a wonderful day. I know it's uh, bloody awkward to do anything, uh, let alone celebrate. In uh, the light of the, the climate that we are finding ourselves in, which will hopefully start to disintegrate within the coming weeks, hopefully. Who knows when lockdown will take proper effect. But uh, yeah, I hope you, you, had, you did what you could with your time and you had a wonderful day. I myself went to the beach with the wife and the dogs, something we did not so long ago, which you saw a sneak preview of. So uh, I took another little video, which you can see later on during our word from our sponsors. And uh, we're going to be doing a review today, or a look anyway, at a uh, tobacco, which is Cornell and Deal uh, Carolina Red Flake, which is... Something very unique, in my estimation. It's uh, the Cornell and Deal uh, Carolina Red Flake. They do a straight red Virginia, and they have a also a, I believe it's limited edition, limited batch, and so is this, the Cornell uh, Carolina Red Flake with Perique, small batch, they call it. So they do maybe, I don't know how many thousand um but the so they have stoved and unstoved red virginias which kind of produces this really tangy tart kind of citry citrusy some people say tomato ketchupy strange i get kind of tangy more, more like a vinegar like a like a uh, like a wine vinegar um so but the special thing about it is those um, Virginias are then mixed with a Perique, which uh, was finished off in 2002. So the Perique is, yeah, so it's uh, nearly 20 years old. So 18 to, to 19 years old Perique. So a really good bit of age on it. So uh, it's a very interesting tobacco. Uncle Phil... Um, when he uh, sent me his, um, he gave me that wonderful uh, pipe you've all seen, the the Kor, Hussein Core pipe. When he sent me that, he also sent me a selection of tobaccos, and one of those tins was the Carolina Red Flick. So um, I'll uh, I'll get this lit while I'm doing that. You guys go and ha let's have a look, a closer look at the tobacco then, and we'll come back and talk about it. Okay, folks, we're about to, let me just check the camera's in position, good. We're about to open a very luxurious small batch from Cornell and Deal. Thank you very much, Uncle Phil, once again. Um, I don't, I mean, this is just really special. This was actually my, um, uh, what was it, The one of the five blends, it's, I forget what the category was, but the you know, the uh, one you look forward to or the one, the, the rare one to impress friends. I can't remember which, but this was, you know, something to celebrate an occasion or whatever the, the thing was. This was my choice. So thank you, Phil. Um, about this tobacco, I'll just read the tin because uh, I was doing a bit of research and what I found was not as good on the, as what's on the tin. So... Cornell and Dill's small batch blends are handcrafted in small quantities by our expert blenders right here in South Carolina. We created Carolina Red Flake as a tribute to the old belt. The traditional harvesting and processing of Carolina tobacco straight from Carolina soil. Building on that tradition, we now introduce Carolina Red Flake with Perique elevating equal measures of stoved and unstoved red virginias from 2018 with a generous portion of genuine 18 year old saint james perique 18 year old perique in this folks from 2002 or 2003 maybe the, no this would have been 2002 because this was 
or perhaps even 2001. No, 2002. Okay, so let's see. The resulting flavor balances pepper and spice with undertones of port and wine, stone, stone fruits and citrus. It's rich, deep and complex. It's how a Virginia and Perique vapor blend should be. So this is a flake cut vapor. Uh, you know, only other flake cut vapors I've dealt with would be Louisiana Flake, St. James Flake. Um, there's another one I can't remember now. But let's get this open. I've never opened one of these American style tins before. Let me just double check it's recording. Yep, thank goodness. Just in case. Safety first, folks. Very elegant. C and D vintage blends, selected, hand blended tobaccos for the discerning smoker, or the discriminating smoker. I've never seen it called that for the discriminating smoker. Discerning would have been a better word. C and D. <laughs> uh, discriminating smoker. Oh dear. But anyway bastardizing the English language. It does make sense, but it's uh, maybe not the appropriate word. I'm just being a snob. Let's open her up. There seems to be several layers to this. Ah, it's just an opening, I see. Let's lift it out. Now, this is the first kind of tobacco I've had with such high levels of Red Virginia. I can smell the tang from here. And it smells good. I've had Red Virginia and other things, but very low dose. This is a proper Red Virginia blend. And, yep, it smells a bit like tomatoes, citrus. It smells a bit ketchupy, like tomato ketchup as well. Very strange. The flake is not uniform. Or maybe it had been. Certainly not anymore. Certainly, well, it's not too dry, actually. It just looks a bit dry, but it isn't. Let's have a look. Get a close look. I'm not even in the camera. Sorry. There we are. Looks good, though. Not too dark or anything. It's a pretty weird smell, pretty funky. Like very vinegary, but not vinegar. It's more kind of like a type of vinegar, maybe apple vinegar. But there is something that I can't put my finger on there, uh, right now anyway, tomato ketchup. Uh, some sort of uh, chutney, like a plum, or no, like a mango, ch I don't know, like a mango chutney maybe. And there's some sort of almost, I don't know, there's like a smell of rubber in there or something, I can't figure out. Like a Play-Doh or something, but no, it's just, a hint of something I can't name, uh, but yeah, mainly it's vinegar, it's citrus, it's uh, ketchup, it's mulched tomatoes, it's mango chutney. It's pretty tropical on the finish there as well, but let's see what she smokes like, folks. This looks great. So there you have it. For the discriminating smoker, eh? But uh, I'm smoking it in the mortar pipe because it just fares so well with Virginia. John, this pipe is amazing. Thank you, buddy. And it just copes with Virginia's so well. It stays cool. Um, I don't know if I'll ever smoke uh, any. I mean, I don't know. So far, I've just been sticking to Boson Plug, the... Carolina Red Flick, the uh, 
Elizabethan mixture, Orlicone sliced, uh, various other Virginias in this because it's it just brings out the bready rich sweetness really well and doesn't overheat. So Some people really don't like red Virginia because of the, the tart tanginess. Uh, I quite like it. I think it's an interesting kind of... It re, it'll remind you of... Um, I mean, it is just like a, all the good things about Virginia, but there's just a little something else as well. It's kind of like an acidic sour note as well as the bready sweetness. That's the way I would describe it, like an acidic sourness, but um, but all very nice. So, uh, I mean, the Perique in there is obviously giving you a lot of dark fruits as well, and which kind of rounds out the whole experience. So the tangy sour notes of the Red Virginias are kind of rounded out with the Ancient, the you twenty-year-old know, Perique stewed fruit figginess in there too. On the retro hill, it's nice and bready, nice and earthy. It's a real solid Virginia. It could be an all-day smoker for you Virginia freaks out there. It certainly could be. The strength, I'd say, is a medium, like a solid medium for me, anyway. Uh, it doesn't have any real rough edges. It doesn't, I don't think it'll bite. I'm a bit of a slow smoker. Well, I smoke fast, but I puff gently and I don't take big produce an, an awful lot of smoke you know it's uh, but I don't think it would bite you uh, like other Virginias can you know a really really good smoke really really good it's a pity it's a small batch. They should just make this stuff constantly. I was very surprised to get it. Um, I uh, This is actually the... I think it's... Well, it's the only blend I've had where the main component is the Red Virginia. I've had other blends, I think, with Red Virginias in the mix, but this is very, this is a vapor with Red Virginia. It's very Virginia forward. I mean, there is that earthy woodiness as well as the tangy citrus. So it's a, it's really, really complex. The Red Virginia is really complex. I don't know why some people just say they detect like a ketchup, like a sweet tomato-y taste. I can see where they're coming from, but I don't really detect that myself. It's just really, really tasty. I've been smoking more Virginias this week uh, because of this pipe mainly. Really suits them. Smoking a good bit of finishing off the uh, open tin of um, Elizabethan mixture I had. I just... I almost tend to stay away from ready rubs now. Or, I don't know. So I have to kind of force myself to finish them. I just prefer the flakes and the flakes and plugs. As you know.
there's a it's kind of like a almost like a tea like flavor I get from it as well, like a cup of tea tea flavor. And there's a dark, like a dark raisin flavor. Raisins that kind of gets, the further down the bowl you get, the more the the uh, perique comes out. There is no pepperiness to the perique on this particular blend. I think the tangy citri citrus flavors of the Red Virginias kind of get rid of that peppery note. The perique kind of shows itself more in the stewed fruit and gets darker and darker the further down the bowl you get. As you saw, the moisture content from the tin was absolutely fine. Absolutely ready to go. Perfect. And it's kind of like a broken flake almost, or not almost, it, it, it absolutely is. You, you can't fold in a flake with this stuff. It's, it's kind of already crumbled, but it's fine. It still has all the flavor that you'd expect from a solid flake. Another thing to mention, it's, it's a very smooth for a Virginia. It's really smooth. And this is one I wasn't expecting to like. I'd heard some horror stories from people who had just read Virginias, don't like them, taste like tomato ketchup, don't want to try it. I didn't think I would like it, didn't think I would enjoy it, but I really, really do. To the point where if I see another blend that is predominantly red Virginia, I will be getting it. I haven't been buying a lot of tobacco recently. Um, uh, my money's been invested in other things. Uh, but I will be on the lookout for other red Virginias. I don't think I've mentioned yet, but I have uh, a pipe on its way from... Uh, Maybe I did mention in the talk with Rory, but uh, I ordered a pipe from Sea Smoke Pipes, Eric Weaver. It's been finished, and it's bloody gorgeous looking. He put a video up on his uh, on his YouTube of of the pipe. I'll leave a link to it in the bucket. But it's a fantastic pipe. I ordered it nine mil, so I think he was slightly annoyed at that because he doesn't make he he uh, wanted to carve me a stem, and the, he doesn't carve his own nine mil stems. So, but uh, I just had to be that awkward guy who wanted a nine mil pipe. Um, the uh, craftsmanship's absolutely brilliant. I just told him what I liked, and we we eventually. Thought maybe freehand, but not completely freehand, but like a Dublin would be my style. And uh, as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I can see myself owning more of Eric's pipes in the future. I mean, I haven't even got this one yet, but I just, I just love his work. But let's have a word from our sponsors, shall we? Speak soon.
Get your feet wet. Don't get your feet wet. Here we are. By the way, we're at Newcastle, where the mountains are born beneath the sea. I hope everyone's having a fantastic St. Patrick's Day. This is one way to spend St. Patrick's Day on a COVID lockdown year. I hope everyone's great. It is actually getting a bit spicy. I usually don't notice that, but uh, I guess there is the peppery spiciness of the perique in there. Much like all tobaccos, it's different every time you smoke it, and it's different in the different pipes that you smoke it in. I really, really like it. I mean, I really, I already like vapor blends, but this is just a different take on it. If you're a vapor guy, you want to try this stuff. It's fantastic. Do yourself a favor and try some. If you can get your hands on it, that is. But if you haven't tried Red Virginia, I would recommend it. Fantastic stuff. Yes, I'm very excited about the pipe arriving. Should be, he says he's going to post it on Thursday. It should be posted priority insured. So it should be, I'd say, less than two weeks anyway, maybe maybe a week, hopefully. Uh, pardon me. Um, I really like it. Uh, check out the video in the bucket. It's beautiful. I mean, if I was um, really skilled, I could put in pictures, but uh, I haven't figured out how to do that yet. My editing skills, I'm sorry, I'm just terrible. One day I, w I might learn. I mean, I've been talking about making an intro video for ages too. I should probably actually do that. Fantastic stuff. Cornell and Dale, Carolina Red Flake, folks. Lovely jabbly. But listen, we'll leave it short and sweet. Well, the usual. But uh, I hope you're having a fantastic day. And um, we'll see you through the week anyway. Toodle pip.